Hey everyone, it's Tracy of Move Daily Fitness. Okay, today's workout, we are gonna kill it with some bands again. So you're gonna need a variety of bands. If you only have one, that's okay, just use that one. I am gonna use two bands in some occasions for some exercises, so if you need to buy some bands, make sure you check the links below and you can go ahead and order some there. But here's the thing about band workouts. I was just checking on the internet to get some different ideas on YouTube. So many of them are like boring and easy. I don't want boring and easy. I want to kick this up. I want to switch it up. I want to use multi joints, multi muscles, and really give ourselves a really good workout, okay? So, in addition to said bands, you're going to use a skipping rope as well. We're going to kick our heart rate up by doing intervals of skipping in between as well, okay? So, again, if you don't have a skipping rope and you really want to do this workout today, just opt to do some high knees instead of that one, okay? Hey, a little thing. My band broke the other day. So if you were doing that one video with me that I said there's a little notch in it, it's gonna break soon, then I'm like, oh, I guess that's garbage. I'm throwing that away. But no, don't throw it away quite yet. Because look, I can do some warm up with this band. We could do some flat pulls here. Oh, so many uses for broken bands. Who knew? Okay, so don't throw those little suckers away. You keep them, warm up with them, and uh, we're gonna throw this in our warm up today too. No, we're not, because you won't have a broken band. So, never mind. <laughs> what am I talking about? Hey, grab these bands, grab your rope, grab your water, BCAAs, grab your runners. Let's get going and let's start this workout. All right, everyone, we are starting this workout with a warm up. So here we go, you're gonna do 45 seconds of every exercise. I'll give you 15 seconds to transition. Some of them you're gonna to have to move quite quickly. All right, here's the four exercises in this circuit. So we're starting with 45 seconds of skipping. Then we're gonna put a band around our ankles here and do 45 seconds side to side tap. We'll slip the band around above our knees and do 45 seconds of squats. And then finally, we'll pick up our light band and do 45 seconds of a rear delt squeeze right there, okay? All right, so that's your warm up. Grab your bands, get, grab your rope, and let's get started. All right, starting with our skipping, get your rope or go ahead and get your high knees ready to go. We're going in three, two, and let's do it. super hard already. Here we go, get low and tapping side to side, right like that. Okay, feet face front. All right, don't try to angle them out to the side. Face the front, stay low. And just a little side tap, getting those glutes warmed up. Whew, yeah, this is really tight compared to my <laughs> last band. This is its inaugural usage right now. Day one, feels like the, the blue one little heavier tension. If you want to just start with really light bands, that's fine. Feel free to do that, okay? Good, don't come up out of that squat. You have the last 10 seconds here side to side. In three, two, and one. All right, let's pick it up under the knees. Ah, over the knees, sorry, over the knees. All right, feet are shoulder width apart. We're getting down into that nice low squat. Ready? Here we go. Drop it down. Again, this one's great to do in front of a mirror or a reflection because ideally you don't want those knees to snap in, right? Think of them externally rotating but without rotating your feet out. All right, just drop nice and low. Upper body stays tall. 
right? That's it, halfway through. Yeah, when you look down, you should be able to see your toes there. Okay, that's how far back your hips need to go on this. You can counterbalance a little bit with your hands in front. And slow the pace down if you need to. In three, two, and time. All right, we'll slip that off because we are gonna go to skipping after. But go ahead and grab your lighter band. Slip your hands in right there. We're going wide, pull back, leading with your elbows. Ready? Here we go, pull back, squeeze, and then slow return. Whew. That's it. Elbows stay high. Doesn't have to be fast on this. You basically want to focus that squeeze, get those shoulders warmed up. Good. Halfway through. Nice. Back the shoulder blades and squeeze. Whew. Should feel this a little bit in those rear delts. I know I do. Almost there, last five seconds. In three, two, and one. All right, there's your warm up. Let's get started with round one. All right, the first circuit includes these four exercises. You're gonna do a lateral walk with the band tension on the shoulders. So you're gonna put tension here, walk side to side just like that. All right, if you don't have a second band, you can do some pulses, you can hold a weight in your hands, you can hold two mini weights in your hands, or you can put the band around your hands and stay low in the squat. Exercise two is gonna be a squat jack. You'll slip the band above the knees, and we're doing a squat jack right there. Exercise three is gonna be an up-down plank with a plank jack. So you'll be in plank position here. You're gonna do elbow, elbow, hand, hand, jack right there. And the fourth exercise is going to be skipping again for 45 seconds. All right, let's get started. Okay, starting with the band under the knees, slip the band around the hands. We're putting tension, palms are up, all right? And we're getting low, walking side to side. Let's start. Low right here. All right, initially that shoulder one, you're like, ah, oh, that's easy. Just put tension on, keep tension on there, press out to the side. And for 45 seconds, believe me, you're gonna feel those shoulders. I'm already feeling it, it's only been 10 seconds, so there you go. Stay low. Again, if you have one band, you choose where that band goes. Maybe next round you wanna switch it and do the arms instead of the legs. I don't care, that doesn't matter. You just work hard, okay? Good, we're moving to squat jacks, coming up next. So we're gonna slip the band around above the knees, okay? And there's your time. Woo! That, that target shoulders. All right. Getting ready for squat jacks. Getting low. Jumping wide. Ready in three, two. Let's do it. That's it. Up down plank with the plank jack is next. Drop your butt low on these. Halfway there, come on. Whew. All right, last 10 seconds. Of course, we're doing this for three rounds, so Show your pace yourself in three, two, and one. All right, slip it down around your ankles. Get down into that up-down plank position. All right, elbow, elbow, hand, hand, plank jack. In three, two, here we go. And jack. That's it, keep it going. Keep your bum down on this. Skipping coming up next. Woo. This is work. 
Last five seconds. All right, quickly move to skipping. Good, in three, two, and skip our high knee. Easier under the knees or above the knees would be easier. Ankles is more difficult because I have wider to step. Who shoulders? That's it. Squat jacks are coming up, remember. Yellow. In five, four, press those arms out. Two and one. All right, bring the band above the knee here. Bring your squat jacks. Get ready in four, three, two, drop it down, let's go. Feet face the front, don't externally rotate those feet. Good, up down plank, plank jack is coming up. I should just call it an up-down plank jack. Yeah, that's what I'm calling it. Halfway. This will be another great workout to take on vacation with you or hotel room on your child's dance trip, which is coming up in multiples. Next month here. All right, up down plank, plank jack. My daughter dances, we've got I think four competitions in the next two months. So it'll be a lot. Here we go. Elbow, elbow, hand, and jack. Elbows tucked in. 
Me at three, two, and time. Okay, last round. Ankles. Lateral walk. Slip it around your hands. Ready. Palms up, get down. Let's walk. This doesn't have to be fast either. Sometimes the slower, the more difficult, right? Let's pull those arms apart. Halfway through. Oh boy, that is work. Squat jacks are coming up. Almost there, last 10 seconds. Stay down guys. Do not come up, you're almost there. Push, push. In four, three, two, one. Oh. Okay, squat jacks. Get ready. In three, two, do it. All right, excellent. Good first round. I'll give you a little break after this round. Grab some water, catch your breath and we'll move on and while I'll show you what's coming up next. 20 seconds here. Drop your butt, come on, drop it. Get low. Still wanna complete that full squat on this guy. Plank jack coming up. Up, down, plank jack. Okay, ankles. Last one here, remember you're starting with your feet together so you can jack them out. Get ready. Here we go. And jack. Make sure you're alternating lead arms. That's it, you're over halfway. for this circuit. This next one, if you don't have a lighter band, go ahead and use some dumbbells or just do the arm movement. But you're gonna anchor your one arm down by your hip. You're gonna move into a reverse lunge and then as you ascend, we're doing a lateral raise. I'm gonna keep that arm slightly bent. So it's descend and then up with the arm, okay? 45 seconds per side on that. Then we're gonna slip the band around our ankles, one around your foot. Okay, and leg is straight, and we're going to do some straight leg lifts right here. Okay, so bottom band around your foot, and then up around your other foot. Or you can put it on your leg too, whatever works. Okay, straight leg lifts, 45 seconds per side. Then, you're gonna slip a band around your knees, 
and a band in your hand. I'm gonna reverse this though, because this will be too hard. We're gonna start high, come down, wide with the shoulders, up, wide down, narrow up, okay? And hit that squat for 45 seconds. Then we're gonna skip. All right, let's do it. Remember, grab your lighter band, anchor it down by your hip, moving into a reverse lunge lateral raise in three, two, here we go. Reverse first, up to lateral, low and high. There you go. That's it. So multi muscle, multi-joint action here should get your heart rate up and give you a better bang for your buck, okay? This is what I mean when I say let's just work out, get a good hearty workout in and not make it so slow. You only have 20 seconds left on the side. I mean, there's a time and place for slow. Don't get me wrong there. Okay, I like some nice soothing workouts at times too, but not on Wednesday and Saturday. I'm gonna kick it up. All right, whew. My uh, glute is firing from that lunge there. All right, little break. That was good. Switching sides. Anchor, other hip now. Remember, lateral raise here as well. Switching your reverse lunge in three, two, and here we go, low and lateral. Now, don't let that lateral snap you back down, okay? Control the down. Slowly down as you go back into your reverse lunge. Up. Slow. I think the red would be too hard for me to do on this. Maybe some of you are doing it. I needed a little lighter one for this guy. Straight leg lifts are coming up. Okay, I'm gonna take the heavier band around my feet. Almost there. Last five seconds now. All right, that's it there. All right, leg lifts. Let's put one band around that ankle. That's your stationary. And then around the foot. Sorry, switch it. There we go, straight legs, here we go. Okay, totally straight leg lift on this guy. Focus on squeezing that glute at the top. All right, nice, and control in your pace here. That definitely is all glute, isn't it? Wowza. Halfway. Try to keep that leg straight. No bent knee, okay? Again, not a donkey kick. Holy. Oh, that hurts. Almost there in three, two. Yeah, I don't like it. Okay. Switching sides. Put that glute out. Remember that squat overhead press is coming up. All right. Here we go, and straight leg lifts. You might find that leg that you're supporting your body weight on is just on fire right now. Of course, it's holding that isometric contraction as well as recovering from the last round. All right, mine is burning. You only have 10 seconds left though right now. Straight leg. There we go. All right, good. Moving to the squat overhead press. So just below the knees for the squat, grab your band for that overhead. All right, start narrow, go wide. Here we go, wide and narrow. That's it. Pick up your pace as you can. Again, focus on keeping contraction in your shoulders there, not letting it snap you back. This is gonna be work, slow. Low and slow. That's it.
Last 10 seconds. Almost there, come on, in four, three, two, and time. Get rid of those bands and skip it out. Woo, gladly. Woo, okay, a skipping skip. Ready, and here we go. right here, ready, and reverse, and up, that's it, remember slow on the descent of that lateral raise, control, and put your mind in that side shoulder cap, okay, boom, pop it up, little pause at the top there, 20 seconds left here, That's it. Keep your hand tucked right by your side, that anchor hand. In three, two, and time. Pull the hand, oh, that's hard. Grab a quick sip. All right, switching anchor hands, switching reverse lunge. Ready. Do it. Up, low, and up. This would be a fantastic workout to do on a hard sand beach. Yes, please. Well, our city is finally starting to turn around in its temperature. I don't know if you saw my Knox Mountain Challenge video I posted the other day. Take a look at it, it's under my videos. If you want to see a little bit of the place that we live, the beauty of this lovely city. It's awesome here and the summer is fantastic, but it's been winter for too long. Okay, Whew, good. Squat overhead press, no leg lifts. Sorry, around the ankles, on all fours. We're ready. And straight leg. Doesn't have to be a big pulse on this guy. Just a little one. As long as it's straight, you're gonna contract that glute there. Okay? Try to keep your other foot on the floor. Anchor that down. Good. Looking good. Last 10 seconds. In four, three, two, and time. All right, switching legs. Skipping is coming up. All right, let's straighten that other leg out. Get ready in three, two, here we go. Straight leg. Up. I don't feel I can get very high with this new band. Holy. Maybe it looks higher than it is. Doesn't feel like it's going very high. Ah. I guess it means it's working. Good, 15 seconds. Okay, 
Hey, the bags that I have listed below literally are $10 for a pack on Amazon. Tell me that is not cheap. If you live in the US. If you live in Canada, of course they're more expensive. All right, going into the squat overhead press. Under the knees, around the hands. Start high, pull wide in three, two, and go. Down and press. That's it. Pull as wide as you can at the bottom there. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Okay, get a little contraction back there. Woo! Forearm burn a little bit too. Okay. Ugh. 15 seconds. Reach those hips back, come on. Almost there. In four, three, two, and time. All right, moving on to skipping. Get that off. Go wrap your rope. Let's go. High knees again. Come on. on that arm. Okay. Halfway. No, over half. Sorry, I thought we were at 30 seconds. 10 seconds left. Come on. All right. Switching sides. Reverse and up. That's it. Straight leg lifts coming up again. Excellent. 
do want to make sure that you have a soft surface for your knee. I'm feeling it on this carpet, which I have my yoga mat, kind of digging in. So while I should be keeping my foot on the floor, it's kind of pushing on my knee a bit, so kind of modifying there a bit. All right, rest, switching sides. Oh. Okay, get it ready. Other side, squat overhead press is coming up. Ready? And up. Good job. A little pulse. Up, squeeze that glute. Come on, you're halfway there. Don't stop now, come on. Keep pushing with me. We have the last 10 seconds. Oh, it kills, but it's gonna be so good for our, our glutes. Last five, four, three, two, and time. All right, under the knees. All right, wrap that around your hands. Narrow it wide with your squat. Here we go. Pull wide and up. Good. Pick up your pace if you can here. All right. Halfway. Again, anytime your arms are above your head, it elevates your heart rate quite a bit and blood pressure. So be cautious if you do have high blood pressure. You could always do this in the front, okay, without lifting your hands above your head. All right, always at options. In three, two, and let's skip. Box and shuffle on your skip right now, side to side. Get ready, and here we For the last circuit. Okay, we're down on the ground for this last circuit, except for the skipping, but here are your four exercises. Okay, so you're gonna start with a, a fire hydrant. So the band is above my knees. I'm gonna add a hand tap at the same time, because why not? So hands and feet, as you lift that up and come back down, you're gonna do a tap to the side. Okay, your stationary arm and leg are your, gonna stay still. So again, fire hydrant and tap and up and tap. Then when we switch sides, we'll do the other hand, the other leg, all right? Brilliant. Then you're moving onto your back for a frog pulse with a hip adductor. So when you're down, you're narrow, or sorry, when you're down, you're wide, up is narrow. Down, wide, up, narrow, squeeze your butt at the top. All right, and then for our last one, leave the band there because why not? Now we're gonna do a V-sit with a rear retraction right here. Okay, so pulling back in a V-sit position. Then we're skipping. All right, let's get started. So get on all fours. The band is above the knees for that fire hydrant. All right, hands in the loop. We're working all your whole right side right now, okay? So up with the leg, in, hand step. Up and hand step, okay? Good. Keep a nice flat back. Try to keep that consistent. Up and step. Good. This will give you a slight reprieve for doing 45 seconds of the same exercise. Okay, we're basically doing two. So 
Get to rest the glute for a second while the shoulder works. Remember you're controlling that side tap, especially as it comes back to you, all right? Up. All right, stationary glutes beginning to feel the burn here. Almost there. And time. All right, good. See how that worked? You got it. Sure. All right, switch inside. And the knees. Other side is now stationary and stable. Here we go. And start. Up and tap. Of course, you want to make this more difficult, slip the blue band around instead of the red, or slip two bands around if you're that strong. Fine with me. Up. Good, 15 seconds left. And moving into that frog pulse with the adductor. Good, last five seconds. All right, flip it over. Good, drop the hand band for now. On your back, slide your bottom close to your feet, okay? Remember you're narrow at the bottom, wide at the top. Sorry, switch directions. Wide, up, narrow. How come I can't get that? It's like patting my stomach and rubbing my head. So when you're on the ground, you're wide. Up, narrow, wide, up, narrow. You're probably like, stop talking, we got it. Just you didn't get it. I know, sorry. It's all the sun, I don't know what to do with myself now. It's coming in like a frenzy and making us all excitable and not able to concentrate, we just want to be outside. All right, last 10 seconds, squeeze at the top, come on. Up, squeeze. This is a little lower cardio down here, so it'd be nice to have that skip. All right, good. Keep the band where it's at. That's a little moot point, but we'll just leave it there. It's just save us from keeping it, taking it off. Leaning back in that V-sit, pulling those elbows back, retracting right here and up. All right? Good. Now, to modify this, of course, you can sit back as far as you can, but with your feet on the floor. All right, otherwise, Let's get them up, work those abs a bit. Pull those shoulder blades back, squeeze. That's it, slow right there. Oh boy, 20 seconds left. Well, 20 seconds now. Good. Up. Really control that, uh, the band back with your arms, okay? That's just gonna give you a good burn if you can control that. Good, five seconds then skipping. Oh, good. All right, slip that stuff off. Spread the rope. Okay. Let's just go for a regular skip, however you want. Here we go. once. 
Good, you're halfway on the side. Keep going. Your back flat. You're really decisive in this action, okay? Lift it out, tap it down. Nice straight arm on the way back. All right, rest. Switching sides. Ready? In three, two, here we go. Leg and hand. Of course, you can set a marker for yourself as well, okay? Like keep the one hand there. If I had like set a little weight out there and tried to reach to that, that'd be a great idea. Reach as far as you can. See how far you can go with this band here, okay? Reach. That'd be a good indicator to say, hey, I'm able to go this far right there. Good, 10 seconds. Almost there. All right, last one. Good. Let's move into that projector. Frog pulse. Straighten that band if it's not. Okay. We're ready. Wide and low, up and narrow. Down. This one's like a reprieve for me, I'm sorry to say. I'm trying to think of how I can make it harder, except for that I can put two bands up above my legs or one underneath my knees, one above. If I remember, I'll try to do that next time. V-sit pulse is coming up. Almost there, six seconds. Good. All right, grab your yellow guy. Okay, reset, retract those shoulder blades. Ready? And here we go. And up, hold. Keep your chest up and out. You want to keep your back nice and flat, okay? Good, 20 seconds left. Woo! Burning time. 10 seconds left. Oh. Three, two, time. All right, skipping. And then one more round. Oh, I'm gonna grab a quick sip. Sorry guys, go ahead and meet. Here we go. Let's try that jack again. Or jack kick back. Jack kick, jack kick. Wide kick behind.
So you're not leaning over when you're doing that fire hydrant part, okay? Don't put all of your weight into that one side. Keep some in tension in your abs, in your shoulders. So you're working that leg. Good. All right. That was a nice try with the blue band. Oh. Switching sides. Get ready. Flip back. Here we go. Up. And tap. this. Don't stop now, you guys. Up and pull. Really work hard these last few minutes. Make every rep count. Okay. Excellent. I'm going to slip off that blue one right under my knees for this hip adductor frog pulse. Add a little bit more tension. Get ready. All right, wide, up, narrow, wide. Oh yeah, baby, that really kicks it up a notch. I hope you're trying this with me. back. We're going to do that little glute stretch right there. Come here, Max. Come here. Come say hi. It's like, how does he know when I'm done? Honestly, did he hear me say I'm done and then he came down here because he just knew? Do dogs know that intuitively? 
like I'm still with the equipment. I'm still talking to the camera. How does he know I'm done? Come here, buddy. Come here. Or not. Switch legs. Come here. Max, come here. Say hi. Want to say hi to the people? He was sick this morning. So that was lovely. But he does like a 10 puke sound warning. Right? I don't know if, if you have a dog, if they do that. Uh, let's come to seat it here. <laughs> he does that mm, 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 mm. Ten, about 10 times before it actually makes a display. Oh, you don't want to know that. Who cares? Reach down. Anyway, I caught it. Usually it gives us time to take him from carpet to flooring or tile. So at least then it's easier to clean up. Good times with the little dog. So I don't know what's wrong with the little gaffer. But uh, he was not feeling himself. All right, switch sides. If you can reach across, I grab the outside of my heel, get a little um, lat stretch in here as well as hamstring. That feels delightful. Whew. Yeah, uh, who doesn't like uh, easy non-equipment, well, little equipment, small, light equipment workout? I think that's fantastic. Um, it's so versatile, it's so portable. I can't wait till it's a little bit nicer and I can go outside and bring all that outside with me. All right, let's do a butterfly stretch. Come right in the center here and just let those knees fall up to the side. If you wanna press down with your elbows onto your legs and increase that stretch a little bit, that's fine. And do your shoes while you're down here. Anyway, great, great little pieces of equipment. Those little bands are. All right, let's sit cross-legged. Go ahead and stretch right behind you. Put your hands behind you. Stick your chest out and then gently tilt your neck to one side. Slowly rotate forward and the other side. Oh, that feels amazing. Good. Come on forward, link those hands together around through the back. Okay, and then just pull gently on each side, just to lengthen each side. So a little bit to the right, back to center. Oh, so many walkers out today. I'm looking out my window, I've seen so many people passing by. Spring is springing, isn't it? I hope it's springing in where, the place that you live as well. Feels so much different when it's actually sunny, doesn't it? Arms back, thumbs down, stretch right there. Feels good to us. Good, and let's bring our arm across here, stretch that shoulder. Oh. You did a great job, everyone. I'm glad that you joined me. Hey, and I'm really glad that everyone likes these long workouts. Um, when I've asked your opinions about it, everyone said, you know what, long workouts, do it, love it. More of those, please. So I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna make them long like this because I enjoy it too. It's very motivating for me to actually work out in front of you, believe it or not. Because sometimes if I'm at the gym, I'm like, I'm tired. I'm not doing three rounds because I just don't feel like it. See, I'm the same way. And, uh, but, but I have to join you guys and show up for you. That's really, really motivating. It makes me go, you know what? I'm gonna bring it. I'm gonna help my peeps, my movers, and uh, get us motivated here. So. Not only am I motivating you, you are motivating me too, so thank you so much. Hey, and if you're a new subscriber, thanks for joining. You know what, in the last month, I think we've got about a thousand new subscribers, and that is amazing, so thank you so much for trusting me, joining us on these workouts and on this journey together. Hey, as always, we do fitness, wellness, nutrition, in ways that are sustainable for the long haul. So if you're, if you're doing your workouts, if you're doing nutrition, wellness, don't don't do it just kind of pie in the sky routines that are unsustainable forever because if they're not sustainable, you're not going to continue on them. They're just going to deplete the body. They're going to make you frustrated psychologically. They're going to get you down. So do things that you can do with 90 to 100% accuracy. Okay, sustainability, maintainability. Those are the names of the game. All right, if you like this workout, hey, I've got other band workouts. Click here and here. Oh, here and here as well. We'll see you in the next video. And as always, go and move daily.